Hey friends and neighbors, time now for another exciting episode of the world of the IETF RFC. This week the featured RFC is RFC 768, the User Datagram Protocol. It comes to us from August 1980 and of course our friends at the DARPA Initiative. So a couple of highlights, there actually aren't very many. Uh, the UDP RFC is actually pretty small, it's the original one anyway. Uh, it has a really, really simplified header when it, you compare it to TCP. Really just the source and destination port addresses. So somewhere in the neighborhood of 65,536 possibilities. And it's generally speaking a command and response transport protocol. So you do something and then get an answer and that's pretty much it. No sequence no numbers, no acknowledgement numbers. But as a funny thing uh, that's in there is that the source port is actually an optional field. Now, we almost never transmit UDP datagrams without the source port, but right in the RFC it says it's, it's optional. And here is an actual UDP datagram. You can see we've got the source and destination ports, the length and the header checksum, and that's pretty much it. This one happens to be DNS. And another uh, favorite UDP-based protocols, of course, it's friend DHCP. Now to spice this particular video up, a little bit. I know RFC videos don't need any spicing up, but I thought I would add these anyway. Uh, honorable mentions here, the RFC 3828, that's the lightweight user datagram protocol. Uh, when it absolutely positively needs to be delivered, damaged or not. So even if there are errors, sometimes we want the data anyway. So examples that they use in the RFC include things like uh, multimedia streams, uh, voice or video. So uh, there's this idea of the partially insensitive payload, meaning that the payload doesn't really care if it was partly damaged. Now an example might be if you have datagram that has been transmitted in RTP and RTP has used the G.711 codec to encode it. So really what you get there is that some of the data might be hammered but we, we still want to transmit it because we can decode the rest of the data. So that's an example. Another thing that I wanted to point out here is that the, um, there's another draft out there, the QUIC protocol or QUIC UDP internet connection. So this draft dates from 2016 uh, and it is for secure transmission of HTTP or HTTP2 uh, over UDP. Now if you're interested in HTTP2, you can look at RFC 7540 but I point this out because a lot of browser traffic that we see today is, is going to be encrypted. HTTPS is the uh, beginning of the URLs and an awful lot of transmissions. And we're used to seeing traditionally that uh, HTTP traffic uses TCP. Well, that's no longer the case for a lot of our stuff. So if you look at your browser-based transmissions, a lot of them are UDP-based these days. And the uh, the quick protocol is used to encapsulate the data. We see this being integrated into especially uh, Chrome as a browser. So take a look at your network traffic and if you see something called quick and UDP based traffic now you know why. Well that'll about do it for this one. This video has of course been brought to you by RFC 768 UDP. Thanks very much for watching uh, next up, I think we're going to remind ourselves of some of the dates and some of the people that we've uh, we've sort of glossed over here. All right, so again, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and may your packets always reach their destination.